Hello. Hola. Hola. Nadie más. No. Déjame tomar la gamor y prender la luz. Sé, la, la razón de debe ser que tuvo algo. Que tuvo un, un meeting. No sé, no dijo, simplemente dijo a las nueve. Ajá, ok. El Blatt es muy chico. Sí. Ay, ay, ay. Bueno. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, you're assuming a lot. Bell, Bell. And where is our fearless leader? I don't know. I thought he was golfing with you. That's why he was going to change his mind. Uh, not with me. I don't know where he is. We can wait a little bit, but you know, I've been mute. Me too. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a short blood. So, so. Well, it's short. One what, what side. You guys, what? It's, and the side, second side is not so short. I didn't show up in a way, yeah. So you guys watched the debate yesterday? Yeah. Yes, did you watch it, Johnny? No, I told you I wasn't going to watch it. No, it was just bad. That Trump messed up so badly. It's just sad that the, this country of 350 million has two more. Million, million, million. He's an ice. He's an horrible. And my good, my, my good friend, Orban, and uh, the other big papers, all he, they all love him, and they don't know why America is so bad. I tell you, his vocabulary is very minimal. I can tell you that much. Minimalistic is not the word. Yeah. And poor. <clears throat> He's an eye specialist. He's really a doctor. Trey, Trey Gowdy said, you know, yesterday, Mario, hello, Ernie, he talked about how many people he fired. Trey Gowdy said, the first thing you have to do after this, this debate is fire whoever was supposed to teach you how to be a debater. And it's so useless. He said, uh, he didn't talk about Camilla Harris, how she sued Obama, the Obama, Obama administration for fracking on the California coast. She sued them. Could have just said that. He didn't talk about the Abraham Accords. He didn't talk about anything that he did. He just talked about how great he is. He's such a moron. Oh, yeah, you know, He's, he destroys himself. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she got him. She oh, got she, his... he, she, well, because she got all the questions, don't you know? They got all the <laughs> questions. They got everything, you know, and she got under his thing. Uh, listen, he, he probably he didn't lose his cool and didn't look at her, so it was okay. And probably all these, uh, you know, all these guys from the Midwest and everybody, they love him because they think he's a fighter. Anyway, Ernie. Hello? Yes. Shem Aleichem. Shem Aleichem. I in Zion, 77. Omar um, Neymar, uh, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow uh, we'll learn at 6 o'clock. The Dafyomi, because Svika's here is at eight o'clock. So, and because there's Minchas earlier, so we'll do at six o'clock. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. What time was Mincha today, Walter? Six fifty-five. Maria, switch off the recording and start it again. Do me a favor. I don't... Okay. I am Zion. Amar Aleph. Amoichas Asfina. Baba Basra. Amar Amenor. Ilchusa. Oisios Niknas Bemesira, a star. If you want to acquire a star, so one person gives it over to that's Mesira. And not with another star. A star cannot, cannot be used be used to acquire a star. You don't have to, or you, you don't have to say when you give it, be coined in all of its shibud.
the Mesira alone is enough. Kirebi. Amalekha Rav Ashra Meimar. Gemara? Is it a Mesora that you have? Or Svara? Or is it logic? Amalekha Rav Gemara. Amalekha Rav Svara Nami. I'll give you it's logical that a star is nicknamed with Mesira. The Oisiyo's words, that's what's that's what's in a star, are mili ninu. They're words. You're not acquiring, you're acquiring the hischaivus that the star creates. I owe you a thousand dollars. That's a hischaivus. There's a shibud that the star creates. You're not acquiring anything that has monetary value in its own right. Umili bimili lo miknin. To acquire mili with other mili, with, with another star, doesn't work. Frank the Gemara, what do you mean? Velo? I'll show you that you can acquire a star with words. There are two types of stars. One is field. The kiss the Lewis a star and write me a star that documents that. So Kaiser Bishtar, you can go back on the writing of the star and you can tell the Adim, I don't want you to write the star. But in a Choser, the sod, you the fact that you gate you gifted the sod that you can't go back on. Because the the one who was Zoicha it already was Makabalit. What about the second type of star? If you say, be zoicha in this field, al menas shetichtuvu willis star, and be zoicha on the condition that they're going to write you a star as well, so then it's dependent on the star. And if you haven't written the star yet, choyzer bein b'shtar, bein b'sodah, you can go back both on the gifting of the field as well as writing the star. Because the gifting of the field was connected to the Ksivas Ashtar. And then there's a sure third star. Ravchia Barav, Ravchia Barav in Amr Mishem Ravuna, Shloisha star. So there's a third star. Trey Hadamora. Two, we just covered. Idich, the other one, is like this. Im Koda Moicher Vekosov is Ashtar. I sell a star to Walter. And before Walter even pays me, he's the purchaser. I write a star that I'm selling him the field. You're allowed that. It means I can go to a soifer and I can tell the soifer, listen, I'm planning to sell my field and I want a pre-written star. I don't want to wait to schlep Walter with me to the soifer, write the star. No. I'm going to pre-write a star. And you can do so. Because it, it, it's only damaging me as the seller if I write the star. Susie, I'm teaching right now, okay? Okay, I'm coming. One second. One second.
Mo'ezer Shoshaninu, Kois vin shtar l'moicher, afu pishen lo kechimo. I can go to a soifer, have a pre-written shtar saying that I'm selling my field to Walter Feinblum, even though Walter's not there. Eventually I have to aid him, he has to sign, but I can have it pre-written. Now, the moich, the, the, me, the seller, I'm going to make sure that it doesn't fall into Walter's hands before he pays me, right? It's my, it, it, otherwise I lose. And Kivan Shehir's exhibit karka, Walter as the buyer, once he does an act of chazaka on the field, nick the star, b'chomokam shehu. If I am in Montana, when I write the star with a soifer, and Walter's in Los Angeles, and we've contracted for him to buy a field in Santa Barbara, and he goes to Santa Barbara and fences in the field. So not only does he acquire the field, he acquires the star. Wherever the star is. And Zui Shaninu, this is part of what we've learned, the Chosim She'en Lahen Achrayas. Assets that have no Achrayas is a synonym for Metatalim. The Chosim She'esh Lahen Achrayas, assets that there's a guarantee involved, there's a... There's a lien that's only land or avodim, but metaltalin on a chosim she'elan achlayis. Now a star is an example of metaltalin, like a check, like money, like cash, like anything that's movable. So the chosim she'elan achlayis niknin im the chosim she'eshan achlayis. When I acquire a field, which is a neches she'eshan achlayis through any act, Kesser Star Chazaka, which allows me to acquire a, a piece of real property, I acquire, let's say, on that field were other Dvare Metatalin, shovels, hoes, rakes. I acquire all those. So you see, Kinyonim, which are just words, are you can call a star with it, which is not like Ravashi. So the Gemara says there's no proof. Agav, this is called a Kenyan Agav. It's a side Kenyan. It's a Kenyan where things are being schlepped along. It's not a primary Kenyan. And therefore it's not considered just Dvorin. Daha Matbeya Shalonikni Bechalip. Normally, Coin cannot be acquired through a fictional chalipin kinyan, like when Rabbi Cross gives us a pen to hold and we hold on to it, give it back to him. This fictional kin, you can't usually acquire cash with it. But agav ara nikni. But cash can come along when you do a kinyan on land. Where do we see this? Kihadra of Papi Avale Tracer Alti Zuzi Rav Papa, somebody owed him $12,000 in the house of Beis Chuzoy. How is he going to acquire it? Someone gave Rav Shmuel ownership of the doorpost and Agav, that Kenyan, he gave him the money too. It was a Kenyan Agav. And Ki also, when Rav Shmuel came with the money to visit Rav Papa, Nafek Lape, I tell you, he was so happy he went out to greet him all the way until Tovech, that's a faraway place. So we see there that the Kenyan Agav is effective. So we said if you if you sell a boat, some things go along with the boat, some things do not go along with the boat. We said, The slaves don't come with it, the, right? If you saw Ben-Hur, Right? He was a slave and he had to row the boat down in the hole. And he doesn't acquire the antiki, my antiki. Antiki is the schoira that the boat is carrying. That belongs to somebody else because you buy a boat doesn't mean 
that you acquire the schoyer that the boat is transporting. Now, we've been dealing with selling houses and selling fields and selling boats. Now you're going to sell a wagon and you have a, a horse drawn wagon. You buy the wagon, sell the wagon, you don't sell the horses that schlep it. Or just because you bought the horses doesn't mean you bought the wagon. Tzemet is a yoke that puts together two animals for plowing or schlepping. So if, if you buy the tzemet, lo mochas aboker. You didn't. If you're selling the yoke, doesn't you don't sell the cattle? Mochas aboker, lo mochas atzemet. You sell cattle, you don't sell the yoke. Rav, you know, I'm not dummy moidian. You know what? We look at the price that was paid. Now will tell us. Ketsa. Sell me your yoke for $200. Now, a yoke costs $10. So if you're selling something that you called my yoke for $200, it means everybody knows that a yoke doesn't cost $200. It means a yoke of cattle. You're buying the yoke with the two cattle. So check out what price was paid. That'll tell you what was bought. But you can't use that as a proof. Maybe he gave, he gifted the other part. Or Chachamim say, because if it's overpriced, you can you can queer the deal and say it was a mekach toes. Tani Rav Tachlif Yilbar Marav, Kamed Rav Avo. Mochras HaKor and Mochras HaPredos. A Bryce was brought that said that if you sell a wagon, you sell the horses. So Rav Avo said, means you didn't sell. You have to remove the Bryce. You have to explain the Mishnah or the Bryce if the horses were tied to the wagon, then it's clear that you're selling the wagon and the horses. And vice versa. If the price determines what was sold. If you're in a locale where people call the yoke a yoke, and the cattle, cattle. So Pshita, he sold it sim to Zavin. Like Boker lo Zavin, I'm selling you a yoke, not cattle. Ella must be the Korile Nami le Boker Tzimdat. It's a place where some people also, when they refer to I'm selling you a yoke, it meant a yoke of cattle. So Kula Zavin le. So it's clear he sold him everything. And also the price says very clearly what was sold. We're talking about in general, it's a place where people called yokes, yokes and cattle, cattle, the economy to Carla Booker. There were people that referred to cattle as a yoke of cattle. So what do you do? Rabbi Yudas Savar, it's not clear what he means. So Adomi Moidim. Then you look at what was paid and you decide whether he bought just the yoke or the yoke with the cattle. Rabbonin Savi, ain't Adam Raya? No. However, why not? He ain't Adam Raya and he's giving 200 zoos and he's only getting a yoke for that. Levi Bithul Mekkah. A tzemet costs $10. If you overpay by a sixth, you can switch the deal. So just switch the deal. It's not a good, it's not a good deal. And the Gemara will continue tomorrow on the other side of the argument. Okay, okay. for six o'clock tomorrow. Bye. Bye.